in the year 2026. If man is still alive, if woman can survive, they may find... Narration. Now it's Mars? You can't make a claim to be universal when you're confined to the solar system. In case you confused it with Union Aerospace Corporation Old Dubai Research Facility, your aim. <laughs> as chaotic and disorienting as this is, it's surprisingly some of the most coherent action in the entire film. Choosing any numerical keypad layout that isn't 3x3 three three with the zero dangling out the bottom. Dr. Carmack. <laughs> Making your security doors only slightly more forgiving than that of the New York City subway. Duke is somehow playing not the sequel to Galaxian horizontally when it's clearly meant to be played vertically. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. Kid, son, you are now in the rapid response tactical squad. The double RTS. The kid has been here for several minutes now, sweeping the floor and risking death by citrus fruit. Was Sarge suggesting that the kid didn't know where he was or why he was here? What you get to the end? Sarge clearly is not a fan of wearing white after Labor Day. Good to know. I'm sure that will be important later. Take the lead. Is that an order? It's a recommendation. This interaction presents Sarge as the type of empathetic and reasonable person who wouldn't pull rank just because he got a murder boner. And I present the rest of the film as evidence to the contrary. A couple days ago, I asked Sarge for a little p and the next day he brought you onto the team. Seems weird that the kid only joined up with these guys about a day ago so he could then wait here with them to go on leave. Not impossible, mind you, but still pretty weird. Listen, kid, I need you to come in just for the day so you can get a read on this over-the-top crew of colorful characters and clean up the orange peels. Goes like this, see? If it's trying to kill you, it's a threat. Yeah, that tactic has always worked in the history of this country and never caused any kind of problem. The way they exit this helicopter, you would think they're being dropped into hostile territory, but nope. They still have to take an elevator, a portal, and walk through a lobby before any hostility ensues. You hesitate, people die. From not getting on an elevator quickly enough? I'm starting to think Sarge is going to be an insufferable character. Papuse. Sanford Crosby. UAC Public Relations. Extending your hand that would have to shake the hand Sarge currently has a giant ass gun in. Oh, you see, Pinky is going to be our guy in the chair who is also himself a chair cliche. He means he went to one galaxy, his ass went to another. If the bubble gun can send you to two different galaxies, why are we spending time on this Mickey Mouse Mars bullshit? Marcus Penzarowski, you call me Pinky. Why does he have a nickname? He's not part of the Marine unit. On my three, one, two, three. The only way to test these cameras is to chamber around while simultaneously pointing their weapons at each other in a synchronized fashion. And knowing absolutely nothing about the person who designed these things, I'm confident in my assumption that the safeties also need to be off. People, this room is a code red, which means no one gets in without our permission. Mac, stay here with our friend and secure the door. This room is so important to protect, I'm only going to leave one soldier behind to protect it. Where the f are we? Couple million light years from breakfast. Dude, you went from Earth to Mars. At most, you were a few light minutes from breakfast. Ladies, we're under a level five quarantine, so I am just gonna have to strip search you girls. As much as I enjoy Richard Brake popping up in a movie, why does this type of character that already felt skeezy as f in the 1980s still exist in a movie from 2005? This is a military operation, Doctor. We're really not here to retrieve our science homework. Look, I got an idea. Why don't you ask your CO what your orders are? If Sarge already had these orders, why hadn't he let Reaper know about this already? Or at least stepped in quickly here so Reaper didn't look like such an ignorant ass. I'm starting to think Sarge is going to be an insufferable character. Tell me you didn't let a fine looking piece of ass like that get away from you, Reaper. She's my sister. Which Duke should have realized was a possibility when he heard they had the same last names. We're primarily an archaeological operation. Weapons research is in its own separate facility. And most likely primarily there so Sarge can get a new shiny giant gun a little later and we can have Easter eggs to jizz all over. Did you get any information from it? Wow, he just had that thing locked and loaded in his pocket the entire time. What the f*** was he waiting for? Also, this sound is indicative of a micro cassette recorder. It's cute that in 2005, someone thought this device would not only be used in 2046, but used on Mars. Magnesium, chromium, lead, it's all normal. What's not normal is this complete disregard of the correct symbols for these elements. Chromium should be CR, lead should be PB, and even though magnesium is MG, the G should be lowercase. This is one of those movies where either the power is down, some kind of main switch is off, or light is just non-existent, all in the service of me not being able to see shit. You don't look like a Mac.
Well, you don't look like a gargoyle named Reggie, but you played one in Sherlock Gnomes. What the hell is that? <laughs> you never did time for me. This is a holding cell. This does not look like a holding cell to anyone who was not told by the script that it was a holding cell. What's the first thing Dad taught us to look for? She's got 24 pairs of chromosomes. This line about 24 chromosomes occurs 24 minutes and 24 seconds into the movie. But serendipity isn't enough to make me believe that always check the chromosomes is the most memorable lesson from your dead father. There's something in Carmack's office. You better come take a look at this something in Carmack's office cliche. Somebody from Carmack's office, fast! Do all these soldiers just happen to know where Carmack's office is? What the f*** has been going on in Carmack's office that made it this popular of a spot? Can we see that movie instead? There seems to be no reason for Carmack to tear his ear off, other than to show that he came to party. And so the movie can use it as evidence of his transformation later in a sort of Chekhov's lubuloplasty. I'm not gonna hurt you. Unless you're going to break his heart, I don't think the person who ripped off their own ear gives a shit about getting hurt. Do you have any? Do I have any? The kid should know better than to take drugs from strangers or portments. Seriously, I don't know what the any is in this case is exactly, because the movie won't go any further than showing some green M&Ms in a nondescript bottle. But after spending less time with Portman than the kid has, I wouldn't trust him with a hot pocket. <laughs> showing me this can falling all the way down these stairs. I just wish the movie explored the fact that in the middle of mutating, this scientist had the foresight to wish people suffering in the future. This random character will exit the movie as uneventfully and quickly as she is introduced. Just try to remember you care about her. It will maybe kind of matter, but not really later in the movie. I now have more knowledge of the ins and outs of this man's tongue than I have ever wanted to. Sarge. I really feel like Alien 3 would have had the stronghold for the rest of time on boring sci-fi movies that mostly show people running down corridors and looking up at vets. But Doom came along and wiped that f***ing slate clean. As I watch this man go headfirst into this vent, I wonder, would it be so bad to let the characters do smart things? Choosing to touch blood with your bare fingers and you have no f***ing clue where it's been, except for the fact that it's been in what was probably a mutated or rabid monkey. The guys looking for him are the best. Citation needed. This sewer feels anachronistic, like it shouldn't have existed in 2005 or 2046, and certainly shouldn't exist on Mars. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walketh about seeking whom he may devour. I don't know, goat. I don't think I want to be sober while I'm being devoured. I fell in the damn hole. Everybody on me, watch your goddamn footing! How exactly are you supposed to watch your goddamn footing when you are walking through three feet of water in the goddamn dark? Also, Portman definitely got sewer water in his mouth. Are we not going to discuss how his death is imminent? Wait a minute. Your pupils have dilated. To a certain degree, this should be expected as you are in a dark sewer. Touching a profusely bleeding neck with your bare hands, which could give said person who is profusely bleeding a deadly infection. Or give said person who is touching the profusely bleeding neck with his bare hands a deadly infection. It's just not a good idea. What happened? He's talking about devils. Devils? All his Bible sh Angels, good and evil, devils among us. Well, that did happen, but I'm pretty sure the what she's referring to has more to do specifically with how he has ended up in the middle of currently dying on this table. Don't be a wuss. Your encouragement of Duke to protect his masculinity should still be followed up with put on some examination gloves, you psycho. As far as first dates go, romantically fisting a monster's throat is like abandoning your attempts at first base, storming off the field and taking up Pesapella. Well, I knew Reaper before all the drop down give me 50 woo ha stuff. <laughs> Yeah? Well, it's Hua. Hua. Movie has time for this. You know, Duke, I bet secretly you have a big heart. Aww. And that's not the only secret big thing I got. <laughs> right now, having sex with me is practically a civic duty. Movie adds fact-checking bizarre pickup lines to the list of reasons why civics is an important part of the curriculum. We are the reinforcements. You are not. <laughs> This might be awesome, but since I can't actually see what's happening, I guess I'll never know. There really should be better safety protocols that don't allow you to become another brick in a nano wall. How is there an evolutionary advantage to ejecting your tongue like it's a warp core? Can it be reattached? Do they have more than one? Why is no one sciencing the shit out of this? That's why I don't do nano walls. Saying this after a nano wall saved your life. The only thing worse than flashbacks position is audio only flashbacks position. Look at them. I wish I could see them. Or anything. Thank you, what do you see? Probably a lot more than the audience watching this movie. Yeah, yeah, I'm beating this into the ground, but I could see more of what was actually going on in the relic than I can in this movie. The motherfucking relic! I feel like I'm supposed to be horny right now. It's like the movie wants me to want to f this gun. <laughs> Destroyer survives this, at least longer than he should. <laughs> Did they just give the perspective of the spinning computer monitor? <laughs>
If this thing is long enough to be jammed up against the opposing wall, Destroyer should not have had enough room in here to maneuver it into this position on Monster Guy's chest. This magazine acting like anything important that I'm ever holding in my hands while standing next to a refrigerator. Portman seems very stupid, but is he thought that was a fucking mouse making all that noise in the vents kind of stupid? I'm torn. Did this thing tie a rope to his legs? Well, that's weird. He's gone. Did you really need to check for a pulse to come to that conclusion? Although I would totally understand if you couldn't see how dead he was, because much like almost the entirety of this movie, I sure as fuck couldn't see anything. Okay, fine. Last one. What the fuck was up with this time code? Right here it says 22722. And in the previous shot it was 32404. This is a time code of lies! Some of you might say I showed these two shots in the wrong order and you would be wrong, but I encourage you to check it out for yourself because forcing you naysayers to watch any of Doom would be my pleasure. Subject. Curtis Stone. Crime. Multiple murder. Status. Condemned to execution. I get that you don't care if this guy dies, but even if the experiment was a success, the best case scenario is that you've given a murderer who has nothing to lose superpowers. The story seems to have gotten drunk, passed out, mumbling something about yada 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 hubris. Sarge, do you not see what's going I on I didn't here? see shit, and I ain't paid to see shit. Then what was all that shit about you cornering Samantha and trying to get her to tell you the shit that they were working on down here? I mean, that's some shit. This is Portman's calm. Now you call if you need help, okay? Yeah, I guess if one of those creatures gets in the lab with her, Samantha can throw a calm at it. Why the f are you not giving her a gun or staying behind to make sure she stays safe? You have a visual? Oh, I got a visual, all right. Don't let it get to the ark! I now want to know more than ever what in the f Sarge thinks Pinky is going to be able to do to keep one of those creatures from getting to the fing ark. It's fing Pinky! He's tech support! Sarge is the fing worst. Pinky's gone. That f up ran. Ran where? Where would he fing go? Why are these logistics? Choosing, Lara. How's it choosing? There are genetic markers for psychotic and violent behavior. It could be a specific neurotransmitter. No! They're just saving computers now? Yeah, they're rocket scientists, remember? Duke would be the rocket scientist at CinemaSense. So if Doom the Game came out three years before Resident Evil the Game, then I feel like I have to go back in time to give another sin to Resident Evil the movie for being Doom minus all the steroids and penis envy. Double no weapons! This feels like as good a time as any to point out that they didn't leave Samantha with a weapon, but they gave one to f***ing Pinky. Oh, there's something behind me, isn't there? <laughs> Finally! Finally! Pinky's death finally brings the kind of energy this movie could have used an hour ago. It's too little, too late for what should have been a sin removal. But oh my god, finally! Is The Rock just so strong that he can't help but absolutely destroy this button? Or was this console just made from Poplar? You decide. The wall's not closing! To be fair, that could just be 2005 CGI. I'm not supposed to die! Yes, I know it's in your contract or some shit. It's an insufferable bit of knowledge, and it makes it difficult to suspend disbelief. What's that? C-24. Samantha, a scientist, is convinced that C-24 won't turn her brother into a monster based on this rock-solid evidence. I know you. And it works! Oh, now it's going to do the first-person shooter cam. Awesome. This is so exciting. I don't know how to contain my excitement. But also, you waited an hour and a half to do this? It's kind of sad that Hardcore Henry had bigger balls than Doom. I see they've now optimized disorientation for the first-person viewing experience as well. Does Reaper even need to be superhuman if they're gonna stop and politely allow you to line up the shot? Monster jumps down on top of this mine, realizes its folly, and hilarity ensues. Pinky has been turned into a different kind of monster man than everyone else because the C-24 genetic modification is nothing if not ableist. The movie expects me to believe the Pinky Monster kept taunting Reaper instead of attacking him while he was knocked out for those few seconds. And I do not believe you, movie I guess the tagline for pieces was correct. You really don't have to go to Texas for a chainsaw massacre. Exactly nine seconds have ticked off since I saw the other clock, and it's been exactly nine seconds of runtime. It's a surprising amount of effort that should have been better spent elsewhere. Sam. Sam is injured but survives by playing dead like an opossum, I guess. And that having been an option the entire time really takes the piss out of the whole thing. Where are the survivors kid found? I took care of that problem. AKA, we didn't have enough room in the budget to have the extras for another day, so we just have to take Sarge's word for it. I'm sure it was beautiful and filled with some really terrible one-liners from Sarge. Am I saying something that happened off camera? Yes. Yes, I am. Welcome to the channel. Quarantine's almost over. Power should be back on any minute. How does reducing the power exactly help with quarantine? 
There has to be a way to just lock all the doors without putting everyone that is trying to solve the problem and rescue survivors in almost total darkness. You killed the kid. We're all killers, Reaper. It's what they pay us for. I'm pretty sure the government doesn't pay you to kill your own men. They would frown upon it for no other reason than that particular murder cost them money. What you got left? Half a clip, you. Yeah. And then Sarge screamed out, get doomed, as he fired off the final round of his big f***ing gun into the floor beneath Reaper. Not only winning the duel, but creating a hole in the crust of Mars that scientists would later say is very problematic. But I'm getting ahead of myself. What's important is that everyone in the theater cheered as the credits began to cascade gently down the screen. I couldn't tell you who was happier. Me or the old retirees. Not very particular about what movie they were watching, but just happy to be at the movies. Or maybe the young kids who'd been rewarded for their firm belief that Hollywood was capable of adapting a video game into a good movie. Or perhaps even the newlywed couple who would go home that night to conceive their first child while listening to Get Back by Ludacris. All I know is that something truly special had transpired. Or it would have, had Sarge done something more interesting than quipping, I've got one round. And then completely missing his shot. Thinking the best weapon to wield in this scenario is anything that looks like a hot water heater. Semper Fi, motherfucker. That's an interesting line coming from someone attempting to kill their second marine of the day. I won't be needing these anymore. God, this movie is so fucking cliched and stupid. Sarge wants to have a fair fight with Reaper Sans weapons, but then tries to get in an early cheap shot while Reaper is still getting rid of his weapons. I think that's pretty much the opposite of Semper Fi. More like Semper No. Is that computer console made out of fucking cardboard? Reaper seems to have a goal and he is trying really hard to achieve it, but for the life of me, I can't tell exactly what that goal is. They will now settle this genetically modified man to genetically modified man, just like Space Jesus would have wanted. Because let's be honest, this whole human experiment is so God can bet on the fights. Like the kid said, go to hell. Did he know that Sarge was just gonna lay there wallowing in defeat? This feels like some really lucky bullshit being portrayed as an ace in the hole. Movie ends on Reaper and Samantha elevatoring into the sunlight like all the famous westerns. Almost home. You still have to take a helicopter ride or at a minimum a bus. Plus, you should probably take her to a hospital before home. You have just opened the door yourself and on the other side, staring right back at you, is a jabroni beating. In the year 2026. We were in space. A terrorist around that way. It was a run by fruiting. What's up, Sarge? We got us a game. Play Monopoly with real buildings. How long's it been? Ten years. Couldn't you just rub one out? Ready to proceed. I'm a bubble. Ladies. They call me Doomhead. Now, I don't call myself Doomhead, mind you, but they do. This is Lucy's chromosome profile. Notice anything? Those Robin's boobies. Are you high? Your mom is! You know, Duke, I bet secretly you have a big heart. Oh, yeah? And that's not the only secret big thing I got. Do you really think I'm gonna have sex with you in the ladies' toilet? What's that? Fentanyl mixed with heroin. <laughs>